Hey guys, it's Jessica and I am sharing a quick video with you. But before we get started, super exciting news. I have hit 1000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. Um, thanks in large part to a wonderful group of ladies over on the Stamp Junkies site on Facebook. If you haven't checked them out, be sure to join that group. Um, it's awesome. The ladies over there are super supportive and a ton of them have given me um, their subscriptions and likes and watch time. So um, super huge thanks to all of them and everyone else who has subscribed up until then. Um, in other super exciting news, I just a couple days ago received an email that I was named in one of the top 100 card making YouTube channels um, out there. Uh, I was number 84, so I'm pretty low on the list, but to be included in that list at all is an incredible honor and I am super, super excited. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I will be doing a giveaway for the um, for hitting the 1,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for more info on that. Um, and let's get started with this card. So for this card, I am going to be doing one of my favorite things for simple cards, which is using washi tape to create um, the pop of color on my card. And then other than that, I'm just using a simple sentiment stamp. You can use any sentiment that you like, whether it's large or small, um, and you can make the washi tape fit your size requirement for that sentiment. So for this sentiment, it's a little bit larger, um, and I am going to leave enough space down at the bottom so that I can um, still have my washi tape down there so I'm putting it up in the upper left hand corner I am using my mini misty and you guys I actually it finally happened I broke my magnets yesterday when I was filming this video um, it's not in the video when I actually broke it but um, I'll have to be ordering some new ones because I did actually break them whoops <laughs> um, okay so I am just getting everything in position this stamp set um, is super adorable it's from one of the recent releases from my favorite things um, and I love that sentiment the scripty um, the I don't know everything about it is just awesome hugs and kisses and Valentine's wishes uh, Valentine wishes I guess I should say um, but yeah so I didn't get a good impression on my first stamp and that's okay because I've got my stamp positioning tool here um, you can use um, whatever you have on hand if you don't have a misty um, you can definitely um, use an acrylic block or any other stamp positioner that you may have um, but I love my mini misty so this worked perfect for me um, and now I am just gonna go ahead and stamp it again. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. That's my favorite go-to ink for most things. Um, and there I finally got my good impression, so I am good to go. Um, okay, so like I said, this is super duper simple. I picked out a few washi tapes that I liked that coordinated together. I wanted to use all pinks. Um, they don't technically match necessarily, um, but I did um, just pick a bunch of different pinks. So I've got a floral and I've got some geometric patterns and some solid ones, um, just a bunch of different stuff that I thought would look cute. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and layer all of those together at a diagonal. You can choose how you want your diagonal to go across if you want it to meet at the other edge at the bottom corner or not. Um, in this one, I didn't meet it at the bottom, but in another one I'll show you later in the video, I did, so just personal preference. Um, and I am having some trouble here. Usually I use a gift card to um, cut off the edge and it gives me a nice crisp cut at the edge. And of course, what always happens is <clears throat> I have no problem with it and then I go to try to do a video and I cannot for the life of me do whatever technique it is I'm trying to show. Um, that's just the nature of things for me, I guess, but that's okay. Um, we're all human, right? <laughs> um, I did end up getting a different um, gift card because that Target gift card is like really bendy. And so I thought maybe that was my problem, but in the end, you'll see I just give up and use scissors on the last one because I was so irritated about it. Um, I just wasn't getting the results that I need. But usually this does work. Um, you just use a gift card or something flat like a credit card or whatever you have. Um, you put it on the edge and then you kind of just rip away the washi tape. Um, the thing might be too that these some of these washi tapes are extremely thin, um, thinner than most of the washi tapes that I have. And so that may be affecting how it tears. I don't know. Um, but like I said, I didn't have very good results. So I ended up just taking a pair of scissors and trimming off the edge and it worked out perfect. So 
Um, if this doesn't work for you either, don't worry, but feel free to give it a try. Um, okay, so I've moved on now to my fourth color of washi tape, and I like to vary the widths also. So I don't like to use all of the same width over and over again. Um, but again, this is just personal preference. So whatever you think will look best or whatever you like for your card, then absolutely do that. Um, but this is just kind of what I thought would look cute. And the beauty of these cards is they're so simple, so you really can um, make a ton of these. You can do all the washi tape all at once, um, and then just put your cards through your mysterious stamp positioning tool um, and just stamp, 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 and you'll get like a billion cards in practically no time, which is always awesome. Um, and the cool thing too is you can change the sentiment for whatever you need. Just change the color of the washi tape for the holiday um, and then change your sentiment and you've got a brand new card um, with the same style. So this is super versatile um, and you can use it year round for whatever you know you need to or want to and um, I'll show you in a second I made one um, this past year for Christmas also so um, you can use it for anything um, I just cut a slightly larger mat in a light pink color um, and just for reference you guys the white piece there of cardstock is 3.75 by 5 um, and I think that the pink piece is just an eighth an inch bigger. I didn't do a full quarter inch because I wanted it to be a very thin border. Um, then I just got some craft cardstock and made a card base out of it and I adhere my little card front to that craft card base and you guys that is it. Super duper simple card. You can make a bunch of these in no time at all. Um, be sure to let me know what you think about it if you like the card or um, if you guys prefer something more. You can always add sequins too or enamel dots or um, you know Nouveau drops whatever you think if it needs some pops of color up at the top um, but I like it this plain and simple this is kind of new for me branching out into a more clean um, and simple sort of look so here is that Christmas one that I made before I believe that's a stamp set from Simon Says um, wishing you joy and cheer I think the set is called sending and wishing uh, but I'll double check and I'll make sure I link everything in the description below. Um, but there's a look at the card for you guys up close. Um, and that is it for today, you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Be sure to hit the little bell to make sure you get notifications for all the videos that I post. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you for all the time you've spent watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel my videos. And I will see you guys super soon for another video.